Hey guys, it's Aguasi Dermer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on visual effects craft. I'm going to be doing something different where we're going to be comparing the stats on my MacBook Pro as far as like the specs, like how much RAM we have, how much processing we have, the graphics card. I'm also going to be doing the same thing on my PC. We're going to be looking at the same specs and also we're going to be trying to break my Mac and also trying to break my PC and also looking at how much we can push on either one. So let's jump into my computer and start working on it. All right, guys, so I'm pretty excited about today. And the reason why I'm excited is because we're going to be breaking my Mac. I've been able to crash it multiple times by boosting the capacity of basically how many particles we can handle. And I'm going to also show you the same thing but running on my PC. And I'm also going to show you the stats of both machines. So what I want to show you is first I want to look at the stats of this machine and then you can look and get an idea of what we're going to be dealing with. So this is a Mac, a MacBook Pro, a 15 inch 2018. The processor is 2000, is 2.9 gigahertz, six core Intel i9, so 32 gigs. So it's a pretty beefy machine. The graphics card, of course, is not as powerful as the RTX 2080 that I have in my PC. So this one is an Intel UHD graphics, 630. So this is basically the one that comes with the MacBook Pro. So what I want to do is I'm going to have a couple of things running and we're gonna be, basically we're gonna be crashing this. Once I crash it, hopefully I can recover the video and I'm not gonna bump it up all the way up because I'm not gonna be able to record, basically save the video if I crash it all the way, like I've done before. But we're gonna get these, the frames per second down to you know, maybe around 10 FPS per second or something like that, something that is really, really bad performing. And that way we know that, you know, we, we the computer really can handle it. If I go up more, it's basically going to kill the operating system and it's going to restart. So it actually freezes the computer and then I have to push the power button to restart it. So the other thing that I'm going to look at is we're going to be, we're going to keep an eye on the profiler. I'm not very experienced with the profiler, but we're going to be looking at it anyways. And then I'm going to be, you know, getting up to date with the profiler so I can teach you guys better how it works. And I'm sure many of you know better than I do how the profiler works. So what I'm going to do is, okay, so you can see 215, 225. I'm not in play mode yet. I have an amount of 5 million on the capacity. The rate of the particles is currently set at, let's see, at 100,000. So I'm going to be just changing the capacity. We're going to go up a little bit and then we're going to be looking at the this number right here. So I'm just going to hit play and we're going to see what we get right now. And there we go. Just give it a second. And then I'm going to also select the sub movement effect so that we can see it in the graph. So right now it's rendering the scene and you can see so we're averaging 52 frames per second. I'm going to move. I also have a lot of things going on and a lot of things open, so that might affect the the frame rate a little bit. Now we're going now we're down to 16 and in the so the reason for that is because I just have a lot of particles running. So right now this is set to 5 million and that number is not as good as it was when it was running in the editor. If we look at the rendering, we're seeing 100 frames per second. Well, this is the max right now the basically at, at scale. But you can look at the rendering right now. We're seeing a frame of 649. So it's, you know, it's steady. Of course, we wouldn't ship something like this because this won't really work on a, on a real game. So if I look at CPU, we are averaging from 5 milliseconds to 10 milliseconds. And we have a couple of, so you can see when, when the particles go crazy, we get a couple of little bumps. Now it's going down because the particles are not using as much physics. And now it's, you know, it's performing better. And you'll see this number start to change as, if, as the physics on the particles start to change. So like right there, I have a turbulence and also a different physics component in here. And I don't remember what it's called, to be honest. So one is called comfort to a sphere. And then the other one is called turbulence. So I'm changing, I'm basically changing the intensity on some of those based on a period. 
you can see that every five seconds for a period of five seconds I go from a negative number to a positive number and then I do the same thing so every time we're going up like this like crazy the performance drop so we see you know 19 15 so really really bad performance so what I'm gonna do now now that we can get a feeling so right now we're getting 37 35 so let's go ahead and bump this up a little bit more so we have right now 5 million what if we go to 6 million and let's see what we get after we go to 6 million particles are spawned again and then we're still about you know I think it's from 10 to 40 that's not really a good average and it's now dropping steady at 32 frames per second 33 okay let's go ahead and bump this up maybe to 9 million and let's see what we can get with 9 millions and everything is steady still I'm just curious when the particles start to spawn and they basically go out now they're going in and we're still steady okay so this is so far this is okay 32 frames per second let's go ahead and bump this to 10 million and let's see what we get as far as performance drop when we do 10 millions and still 27 26 so on the just to give you a reference on the on my pc which is a really beefy gaming machine which i'm also going to show you the specs i can get up to 150 million particles i don't think i i push it up more but we can try it today so and then and it was performing okay and we can see i don't think this is going to get to that level but let's go ahead and double it let's go ahead and go to 20 million we're still 19 so yeah we're dropping a lot in frame rate you can see that we had 14 at some point and 18 so it's still steady so let's go ahead and go to 30 million and now we're dropping to the yeah to 10 so I think I'm gonna go maybe 5,000 more let's go ahead and do 35 35 million and then I think I'm gonna call it good otherwise it's gonna kill the machine and then I won't be able to save Let's see 12 let's do let's do 40 40 million and then we'll and then we'll call it good and the computer start to slow down i can i can actually feel it by yeah by just increasing the capacity so yeah we dropped to 9.6 9.2 and this thing is just slowing down like crazy if i go more like i said it's going to freeze the machine so let's go ahead and call it good i'm going to jump into my pc and show you the results on my pc now all right, guys, so I'm ready to show you how this performs on my PC. So I have the statistics open, just like I did on the previous part of this video. Also the profiler and the capacity of particles. I also want to show you some of the stats on this computer. I have basically the specs. I have an Intel Core i7, 3.7 gigahertz, and six cores, two logical processors. This machine doesn't have as much RAM. It only has 16 gigs of RAM. But it has a pretty beefy graphics card, which is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080. And that's, that sounds beefy to me. It might not be as beefy for you, but for what I'm doing right now, it's way better than what I have on my MacBook Pro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, you know, what I did on the previous part of this video. We're going to start with 5 million on the capacity. That's what we did before. And then we went up to 40 million and the computer started slowing down. We couldn't do anything else. So let's go ahead and hit play and we're going to be incrementing the you know just like what we did on the previous part so it's going to import it's going to render it's already feeling way way more snappy than it that uh, it did on my, on my mac so right now we're doing way when the graphics 380 frames per second and i think we started on around 60 on my macbook pro and i mean that that has to do a lot with this is a gaming machine the other one is not a gaming machine so what i'm going to do also on the i mean this is going crazy and updating way really really fast so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go let's go ahead and change this to 15 million and then see what kind of performing hits we get we're still you know averaging from 280 to 300 frames per second it's performing really really well we're seeing you know it's just not even doing anything to this computer just yet so what i'm going to do now let's go ahead and go into 50 million and then see if we get a performance drop 
So we did get a performance drop. It was doing about, you know, 200 frames, actually almost 300 frames per second. We're down to 80, 70, 80 on average. And I only have people, well, not only, we already exceeded the capacity that, that we were able to push on my MacBook Pro. Remember I had 40 million on MacBook Pro. This is already, you know, way more efficient in, than, than my MacBook Pro. So let's go ahead and change this to, let's do 100 million and see if we can still push 100 million. So still, you know, I can push them. I mean, they're not, it's not performing the best, but this is 100 million on the capacity. It's crazy. So what if we go, so I think I went up to 105 before and I didn't even dare of trying to do more than that. So what I'm going to do for this video is let's go ahead and do 150 million and see if this is going to even run. So I think I already killed the computer because <laughs> it wasn't, it's not even rendering anything. And I'm already, and I think that's what happened before is I was trying to push just way too many. Let me try changing this to 105 again and see if Unity is going to, yeah. So I think I exceeded the max. Let's go ahead and do to 120 and see if that works. Oh, I think we exceeded the capacity there as well. 110 million particles does not work. And let's do 109. Nope, oh, 107. Okay, so I think our max for now, it's probably more than that, but that is, that is as much as we can, that we can push now. I mean, this is still responsive. I can, I can change the settings and, and make cha rapid changes. And I'm sure that everything is gonna, so if I were to change the attraction force, you can see how that still performs and it's still running at 30 frames per second on average if I want to change this. So this is, I mean, this is working. It's not the best, but for simulations, this is a really great computer. And you know, where my Mac, I can only push some up. And so this probably gives you an idea of, you know, pushing particles and how many we can push. So just as a summary and, and basically an overview, I was able to push up to 40 million particles on my MacBook Pro, which is an i9 with 32 gigs of RAM. This one is an i7 and it also has an RTX 2080 GeoForce. And I was able to push 107 million particles. And I'm still, you know, I'm still performing. I think as soon as I push more than that, the particles weren't rendering. And I think it's because we exceeded the max. So, that's everything that I wanted to show you guys today. If you have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.